Hello, my name is Katharina Schuler. I'm the product manager for ventilation and air conditioning measuring instruments at Testo AG. Today I'd like to show you how to use the multifunction measuring instrument Testo 480 to carry out a comfort measurement. The objective of the measurement is to objectively evaluate the subjective perception of staff members regarding their thermal comfort. We are here in an open plan office where there have been complaints about the temperature being too low. The ventilation system has been tested in advance to make sure it's working correctly. It showed no anomalies. Before I begin the measurement, I take a look at the situation on site. I notice whether the windows are open or closed and whether the air outlets are dirty or blocked. That is not the case here. In order to quickly obtain an overview of the room climate, I measure the temperature and humidity in the room. To do this, I position myself in the middle of the room and move the probes slightly to and fro, 60 centimeters above the floor. I have to make sure I don't falsify the measurement result with my breath. As soon as the measurement values have stabilized, I can end the measurement. In this office, I've measured a temperature of 22 degrees centigrade and a relative air humidity of 55.6%. The recommended values for offices are between 22 and 24 degrees centigrade and 40 to 60% humidity. If the measured values here already showed a considerable deviation from the comfort range, this would be due to an incorrectly adjusted ventilation system. Since the values correspond to the respective comfort ranges, I can continue with a detailed evaluation of the room climate. In order to be able to judge whether the ambient conditions are actually causing the thermal discomfort, I'll now conduct a PMV PPD measurement. The objective of the measurement is to obtain an overall objective evaluation of the climatic conditions in the room. In addition to the classification of the room as too warm or too cold, I obtain a percentage of people who are are dissatisfied with the ambient climate. In order to carry out the measurement, I need the following measuring equipment. The ambient air humidity probe in order to measure the ambient air temperature and humidity. The comfort probe to be able to evaluate the air flow in the room. And finally, I need the glow probe to measure the radiant temperature. An acclimatization period of 20 to 30 minutes must be observed here. I've connected all the required probes to the Testo 480. I place everything together on the tripod. The Testo 480 has its own measurement program, which guides me step by step through the settings. In addition to the measured parameters, I need to input information on the type of clothing and the degree of activity of the staff. For example, a 22 degrees centigrade, light summer clothing and a seated office job lead to a perception of the temperature as too low. For this measurement setup, I decide on a measurement duration of approximately five minutes, as the staff have complained of permanently too low temperatures. However, if the staff report too cool temperatures at different times of the day, I would conduct a long-term measurement over the whole working day. As soon as I have made the settings, I can position the measuring equipment at the staff member's workplace. The staff member can continue with his usual activity during the measurement. I can now start the measurement. I can observe the development of the measurement values while the measurement is running. Under constant conditions, the measurement values stabilize after about five minutes. The measurement can be finished. The Testo 480 can present the measurement results in a simple graph. The PMV value is shown on the horizontal axis and can vary between plus 3, which is too warm, and minus 3, which is too cold. According to DIN 7730, Comfort Class B, the permitted PMV value may be in the range from minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. The value of minus 0.32 measured here is within the required state standard range. The PPD value is presented on the vertical axis and should be smaller than 10% in order to be within the standard range. In this office we have a percentage of dissatisfied people of 8.5%. Using the Easy Climate software I can then carry out more analysis and the documentation on a computer. Thanks to the PMV, PPD measurement, I have established that the room climate is within the standard range. I've been able to determine that there is no malfunction of the ventilation system. As you've seen, the Testo 480 allows me to represent the subjective impression of thermal comfort in terms of objective measurement results.